Free pies. Free pies. Free pies. Hello, my name is Tabriz, and in this video, I will tell you why I think this Essie Dons versus Groundhoppers was the change of fortune to the SC Don's success. My name's Tabriz and welcome to the Amateur Football YouTube channel. I'm telling you right now for the best grassroots, non-league, YouTube team content, this is the channel to be at. Please do me a favor, go and click that subscribe button. Also click that notification button as well. It's free helps me out, helps you out, everyone's a winner. If you know about grassroots football, if you know about Sunday league football, if you know about YouTube team football, SE Dons will be very high up on that list. People have seen SE Dons lift up trophies. They've been really, really successful on and off the pitch. However, this was not an overnight success. I've been following Dons for, I'd say probably for the past two and a half years. I've had an interview with Chris. I've had an interview with Gadi. Myself and Gadi went on holiday to the south of France. The link is in below. And I know exactly how much hard work to actually creating not only content, but also a football team. I encourage you, anyone out there, Google SE Dons. But rather than watch like the games right now, go right to the start. It wasn't an overnight success. It was not an overnight success. SC Dons versus Groundhoppers. I believe this was the video that changed the fortunes of the SC Dons. I'm gonna explain throughout this video and I'm gonna insert clips as well from, from that game why I believe that. Um, yeah, where are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on Sam and we're gonna go and get Mitch and come to you. Oh, George, man, listen, you've got to start being on time, fam. I'm being honest, bro. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the door at the hotel and I'll just come straight oh, cool. to the ground. Cool. I'm ready, any. Wow, they got. Is the skipper, fam? We've got to be on time. We've, we've been losing games, bro. The reason why we're losing is because we're not. We're turning up unprepared. So even in the first minute, Strapsy's already pissed off. Management and senior players can't be late. It doesn't matter what level. You can see his annoyance. After two defeats on the bounce, you would expect management to at least set the example. So yeah, you know, he's 100% pissed. 100% pissed. And you know what, he, he literally has the right to be. Uh, spectating for, uh, for the Dons, helping with a, a new angle uh, with the GoPro. Um, so you might hear my voice a lot, and I do apologise if there's any bad language or anything like that. All I want to do is motivate, that's all. So uh, Don asked me to do this, so um, I'm happy to do so. This is the first time I believe they started to use their GoPro as, again, just a secondary camera, just to get more of a um, player's point of view, not just a player's, um, a fan's point of view. And again, it just gives their content just something different. If you actually study the footage or even look, this is probably one of the first times where, you know, this is literally going to be Mitch's, um, Mitch's thing. And this GoPro cam thing, it's kind of, you know, that, that was his foundation to actually move on, to actually give him the confidence to be in front of the camera, to show his character as well. It was not 100%, but, you know, on the comeback, now I'm just trying to be more smarter with my tackles. That's all. I like this little bit of insight, you know, as a like defender, sometimes you've got to be just smarter with your challenges. You've got to be smarter with your tackles. Donny Jones loves a tackle, but as he said before, he's got a bit of an ankle injury. Like you don't have to win every single challenge. You, you've just got to be smart and know the challenges that you can win. And like also like the challenges that, you know, you may not win the first, you know that there's like, phase two and phase three and you can nick a ball of someone rather than going in and lunging and going in for a 50 50. you've never warmed up until today that's the first change what up, what's, up? What's, what's all this about it's about setting the tempo from the off i've been realizing we're not starting the game quick enough maybe because we're not warming up maybe hopefully this changes now imagine this where the se duns are at now this is the first time that they've ever warmed up it doesn't matter what level you have to warm up the muscles and again warming up is not even just warm up the muscles ready for a game you are kind of warming up your mind you are kind of getting your mind on the game imagine this is the first time that they ever started warming up the more i watch this video 
honestly, I really do believe this SC Dons versus Groundhoppers game, like, this light was a turning point. It's a bad run, but the run stops now. We've got a win, we've got a change. The warm ups today, Ryan came in and said it. We can't lose, we can't lose anymore. We don't come here to lose, we don't come here to just get turned down by people. We've got to turn up today, we've got to get three points. If something changes, then it changes today. Every morning, every Sunday morning, we wake up. We wake up at times that we should be lying in after our nights out on Saturday to come and play football. At the end of the season, we want something to show for it. We leave our loved ones at home, our wives, our mums, our girlfriends, our sisters, our brothers. And come May, come May, if, if, you ain't got no, if you ain't got no silverware to show for it, the whole world is going to be laughing at you guys. Do you want to be laughed at in May? No, no. I said, do you want to be laughed at in May? All right, so Don's on three. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Don's! Let's go. hundred percent. I ain't fucking leaving, guys. I ain't fucking leaving. I flipped. They're getting married. I can't. See what you're coming here. Don't worry. I said, my wife, my kids. I said, oh my God. I've got to turn up now. My kids are being worried. I ain't even got kids. To be honest, I've got really nothing more to say. I mean, Palmer said it. Flip said it. There's no reason for them to lose this game. They've done everything right. A big shout out to this legend. His name is Josh. He comes down to watch us each week. We didn't have a lino and he said, you know what? I'm going to do it because I'll do what Don's do. So big up you. Big shout out to like Josh. People like him who were there from the start. Like the Don's were kind of getting like a, you know, like a few people coming down. And this guy came down every week. And for him to help out the Dons, oh, not just to help out the Dons, just to help out a team that he supports and loves. I'm saying that just shows absolute commitment. Scouts from the, the, the Finnish <laughs> Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to play for them, yeah. look, VPS. <laughs> VPS. VPS, yeah. Okay. And you see already with the GoPro, you can see the interaction. And again, hey, like, you get supporters come down and watch and it's kind of also their like time to actually say what they think about the Dons. And in that clip right there, you've just seen Finnish Premier League. It doesn't mean anything. Um, it's actually a dangerous scoreline because one goal back from them and they're straight back in the game. So we need more. But here's our man King. Now listen, what a great start to his uh, Dons career. He's certainly, and he's looking real sharp. Oh, this player King, he's, he's ha. Huh. Oh boy. I mean, what a player, what a player. If you, if you actually watch King play, yes. I just want to tell you. I'm filming. You're not. I'm filming. You're not. So what's that up there? A, a camera to take a picture. No, I'm actually filming. Mm -mm. Yes. See you later. Bye. 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 Close the door. King just oozes class, like how he glides past players. When King is on song, it's honestly, he's unplayable. Just how he glides past players, his kind of acceleration, like he may not even look, look fast, but when he's got the ball at his feet and, you know, once he shifts and, then, you know, once he's going, you're not going to catch it. If I'm right, he's only, I think, 19 years old. He slapped it back to me. One touch pass from me, one touch pass from Nathan Palmer. This is fantastic from the Dons, guys. Drone footage. It just adds a different dimension to football content. The Dons right now don't use a lot of drone footage, but it just shows things that can be done. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> 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 only, only in Sunday league. Only in, only in grassroots football. This happens. Only in grassroots football. Boys, listen. When we simple up the game, we make it look so easy. Listen, 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 list
at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people are gonna, people are gonna, people are gonna remember what happened with those two chances. But me personally, Ryan hasn't done as badly as you. No, no, it's not even about that. But I'm not, I'm not saying about my individual problem. I'm not. Listen, I'm not. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not talking about my individual performance. I'm talking about as a team, from the back, from the middle, up top. We are simpling it up. We are making it look so easy. We don't have to run through so many players and get out and Jack run through the whole team. We can just lend the ball to each other. This halftime team talk, and there's probably been some after, especially at this time of the SC Don's journey. But if you kind of look at the demeanor, if you kind of look how things are, it's not clean and you're not pleased. Actually, actually do this. Rewind and actually look at that segment of the halftime team talk. You'll see Big G and he's disgusted. He hasn't said a single word. He's disgusted with the, how people are having their own conversations. If you're looking at Strapsy, the same thing. You will never see anything like this at the SE Dons right now. So I can imagine probably Big G's probably listen, like listening, trying to listen to the team talk, trying to get everyone focused. And like you can hear other people in the background who are not part of the team or other, other conversations. And it's thinking, what the hell's going on here? And like, if you, if you actually watch the game and actually watch the halftime team talk and you can see it in Big G's face, Don Straps' face, it's just not... It's like not what people expect the SE Dons now to be like, because trust me, like no one from the outside is going to come into a SE Dons huddle. No one, no one who's not part of the SE Dons will be allowed in that huddle because that's just not how it works. This is the making of the Dons, how we see them now. These type of videos, when like things are not going right, these are the things that they put right to make sure people have that right mentality when they come onto a pitch, everyone knows exactly what they are expected. We had a good warm up for the first time, I think, all season. We never do warm up, and we can actually see what it does for us. Donny Jones has said, because of the warm up, because of the preparation, things are just going so much better. Please do not underestimate how important it is at whatever level to get your body and mind ready. It doesn't matter who you're playing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you prepare in the right way, you have more of a opportunity and more of a chance to do things right. This, this actually caused us a bit of confusion, guys. I'll let you know. Um, we started the game with a 3-5-2. When we made these substitutions, we switched from a 3-5-2 to a 4-5-1. However, not everyone was actually aware of this. So it caused a little bit of confusion. Um, so in future, guys, let's make sure we communicate it properly. Communication. Communication is key. If you want to be a successful football team, grassroots team, non-league team, this is the game for me, again, that people should watch. SE Dons versus Ground Hoppers. Please watch it. SE Dons versus Ground Hoppers. Sometimes I don't communicate. Sometimes I'm just assuming people know exactly what I'm looking to do on the pitch. But you know what? People are not psychic. Now listen, at 4-1, we have all seen what can happen at Sunday League Football. That is the beauty of the grassroots game. You can be winning 4-1 and lose 5-4. We cannot switch off. This is what I love about grassroots. Even at 4 Donny Jones has even said it. Even at 4-1, the game is not won. Anything can happen at this level. I've seen it. I've actually been part of teams that are either winning or losing by two, three or four. And we've come back to either win or the other teams come back to either be us or a draw or, you know, it's not over. It's not over. It's all about the mentality. It's all about being focused. It's all about people knowing their jobs and actually sticking to their roles. Like you can't get complacent at this level, no matter what people say, especially if you're, if you're aspiring to actually win things and actually be at the top of your 
your like game or at the top of your league, whatever league that you know that you're in. What's happening recently is every time we score, obviously as we all know, Big G always goes to collect the ball. It's a ritual of his. But referees are clocking onto it and they're not letting him do it. So the refs is out of work. So people who are not familiar with the Dons, um, Big G, their keeper, every time they score, he always goes and collects the ball from the opponent's net. Um, he'll so yeah, he'll run the whole length of the pitch, get the ball and pull it on the, on the um, halfway line and then run back. To be honest, I don't think he does that anymore. Um, he may do it on the occasional game, but that's not something that he does. You know, I think now he's literally focused on making sure that the back four are ready, uh, making sure he's like ready as, as well. Um, but yeah, that used to be uh, a feature of uh, the Dons, you know, back in the day. But like I was saying, guys, listen, the fact that we've done things right today, we can really see our potential. When we turn up, I do believe we're one of the best teams in this league, you know, and, and we've shown that today, but when we treat things seriously, it happens. Again, speaking things into existence, Donny Jones has said a few things throughout the whole video. And again, because I'm cutting certain, certain bits out, please go back and, and like watch this like video. SE Dons versus Groundhoppers. When we do things right, we are unbeatable. Fair enough. We may lose a game here. We may go on a bad run, but regarding like the marathon, we will always be one of the best teams. Free boys! Free boys! Free boys! Now, like this is literally taking the mick. Taking the mick. Three pints is three points, but they're just taking a mick with it. It's so good to actually see it at grassroots level now, where there's just banter um, from like both sides, because that's what football is about. Like you want to try and get an edge physically and also mentally. So it's good to have that banter. We put it out there. We put it out there to supporters to vote if we should sign the king. And I think it was like 97% of you said yes. So here he is selling Premier League sticker books and he's, and he's forced that geezer to take out his own man. I have nothing more to say. I have nothing more to say about King. Very good match. Uh, I thought that the, uh, the Dons were back to their normal routine. Uh, and if I may take the chance to explain, to explain why they've had some bad results recently. It's because there's been a little bit of dissent within the camp, which is now being put right. So today is a result of that dissent being put right, and you've seen the results of what they can do when they work together and stop arguing among themselves. That was a very good performance today. If there's any issues within a dressing room, within the squad, at non grassroots level, non-league level, elite level, if there's any issues and if it's running throughout the whole team, it doesn't matter how good of a team, good of a squad, good of a player you are, it's going to affect you. What um, the SE Duns have done really well is, of course, now they can probably attract that better kind of player. But sometimes it's not even about their ability. How's their character? Like, how are they going to fit in with other, other players? What's the dynamic going to be like? And... I think the Dons have done really, really well to make sure that dynamic, that ethos is still there, no matter what player comes in. I think that's what a lot of grassroots teams and non-league teams you know, should be doing as well. Sometimes it's not about getting that best player. You might have one good player or you might have three average players, but those three average players bring so much more to the squad and to the team than that one superstar one bad character or one character that is very conniving and devious can affect the whole team and and it kind of just proves that if you're prepared to work hard and have the right people around you and the people that want to support you because don't forget when that SE done started if you kind of go all the way back the team's changed however most of those core players who actually started are still part of the SE Dons now. So literally that kind of shows like a lot of character and also as well, a lot of self-awareness. Those players who started are probably not good enough to actually be in, in this SE Dons team right now, but they still want to be around. They, you know, they've literally grown up together. 
their brothers, their friends. And also as well, you have to take your hat off to Don Strapsy and Big G and, and the management team because having to make those phone calls to like say to players, look, we're looking to get these type of players in. You may not be good enough to actually take us to that next level. That, that is a hard conversation to have. But also as well, still having those players around to actually support the team. It's a, honestly, like that is a hard thing. And I think that's what like the Dons have done really well because, you know, I, I've like been in teams and I know teams like where a player or two literally leaves the club and it's just been awful, backbiting and, you know, they say stuff about the team, the manager, and, you know, it's just not nice. And, and that friendship, that relationship has just gone down the pan. And, you know, AC Dons don't really have that. Anyway, that is the video done. Hope, hopefully you guys liked how I broke that down. Please go and like, subscribe, click on my videos. Click these two videos that you see right now. This is the Amateur Football Channel. And in true Big G fashion, see you next week.